Today's video is sponsored by PetFlow.com. I was so excited to see in my last video how many of you wanted to see Samson the Pitbull learn how to let go of a ball. Uh, I got the impression that many of you were dealing with a similar issue at home. You know, part of having a high energy dog is committing to getting them worn out mentally and physically, and fetch is one of the ideal ways to do it. But you don't wanna spend all of your time trying to get the ball out of their mouth. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your dog to release the ball in as little as one training session. Have you guys checked out petflow.com yet? Remember, you can get your dog food, you can get accessories, treats, toys, everything in the world for your dog at one place. Plus, you never have to go to the store ever, ever again to buy your dog food. You can set up recurring delivery of pet food, or you can order one bag at a time, whatever you want. They have over 150 brands, including prescription food. When you enter promo code Zach George, you'll get $5 off any order, $30 or more, and you'll get free shipping on all orders over $49 after all discounts are applied. By doing your shopping at PetFlow, you're supporting the dog training revolution and you're supporting positive dog training, but you're also making your life more convenient. So that leaves you a lot more time to spend with your dog. Today, we're going to teach Samson the pit bull how to let go of a ball. He's really good with fetch, but he's not good about letting it go. This is a big problem that a lot of people deal with. Um, so we're gonna see if we can give it a shot and see how he does. Here at the there are two games that dogs are instinctively born at knowing how to play. Those games are chase and tug of war. Now, whenever your dog tries to play chase with you or tries to play tug with you, that's them trying to engage you. Overall, that's a pretty good thing, but we have to polish it a little bit and show them how to play by our rules. What do most people do when their dog won't let go of a toy? They pull even harder. Remember, dogs like this. This isn't something we wanna do when teaching them how to let go of a toy. Now, tug of war can be great, but but that's a completely different topic altogether. You know what the biggest secret in the world to teaching a dog to let go of a ball is? A, make sure you have them on a leash so you can get to them, because you don't want them running away. The whole idea is to suddenly make the game dramatically less interesting. Get them close to you, hold the ball, do not pull, wait, make life boring. Your goal is to just stabilize the toy for a little bit. For a dog like Samson, this is a lot less exciting. Be prepared to wait this out for up to a minute or so. Now when he lets go, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm gonna let him know that I love the behavior and I'm gonna immediately give him the ball. Not a treat. A dog like this wants to play, not eat. Whenever you have a high drive dog like this, you should almost never reward with food when teaching the various aspects of fetch. You want them focused on the game. Come on buddy, Samson. Good boy, here we go. Good, all right. He's good about bringing it back, but see, he doesn't like to let go. I'm gonna hold this just as a safety net. I'm gonna wait. Uh-uh-uh. Yes, good. He let go for just a minor second. I'm gonna immediately give it back. That's the biggest mistake people make is that they don't reward fast enough when their dog lets go. By not rewarding frequently and quickly enough in the beginning, you're validating your dog's suspicion that if you take the ball from them, they may never see it again. Make sure you get that ball to them as soon as you possibly can. Samson, come here. Again, see right there, he didn't come right back to me. I'm in a position to get him. After your dog has shown that they're starting to get the point, then you can start to slow down a little bit and make them think a little bit more so that way you can start to do something that resembles more of a structured game of fetch. What I'm not doing is, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, leave it. I'm not gonna put it behind my back here. It's right in front of him. Good boy, go get it. Teach your dog to think. You don't need to use diversionary tactics like putting the toy behind your back or distracting them with treats. They're plenty smart enough to get this without gimmicks. This is not a hard thing. Wait. No. I'm gonna create a barrier with my other hand here, just like leave it, that's all. Leave it alone. Yes, get it. So I made him wait a little bit longer that time. Good, may I have it? No. Every time I say no, there's a consequence. In this case, the game stops, and I'm just gripping him by the collar just to keep control of him. He's still wagging his tail. Now, if your dog is more sensitive, you wouldn't do this, but chances are, if you have a sensitive dog, they likely don't have this issue. Again, if he wants to go on his back, fine. I'm not playing tug, but I'm holding the ball. Yes! Go get it. Very good, that's wonderful. Also when doing this, it's important to practice it in close range. Don't feel like you need to launch the ball. It's better to get a pattern of success at close range than it is to try and get big throws over and over again. Yes, good. 
Our dogs will learn so quickly that when they let go of the ball, the game continues. When they don't, the game stops. It's your job to be very patient, very consistent with that. As with all things in dog training, avoid being monotone during your praise and play. But more importantly, focus on the bond, focus on the game, focus on the overall experience you have with our dog. You know, sometimes we get so caught up in the mechanics that we forget to be interesting to our dogs. Good boy, and that's what you want, that energy. May I please have it? Yes. Kiss and helps. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click thumbs up, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash thezachgeorge. And tell me in the comments below, does your dog readily let go of a toy when you ask them? Is your dog even interested in toys? I'm curious to know. Check out petflow.com. The link will be in the description. Don't forget, you'll get $5 off any order over $30. You'll get free shipping on all orders over $49 after all discounts are applied when you enter promo code ZachGeorge. Thank you to petflow.com. Thank you to each and every one of you for watching and subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video. He's such a big pit bull. Say hi to YouTube.